Hello there, it's Michael Levine, Executive Director of the Midcoast Symphony Orchestra. We rehearse here at the Orion Performing Arts Center, which is located at the Mount Ararat Middle School, which got me thinking about my first classical music experience, which happened actually when I was in middle school. Now, unfortunately, it wasn't the most memorable one because my parents took me to see a chamber music concert and I fell asleep. But my father was quite a fan of classical music. He kept a huge catalog inventory by group that was doing the concert and date of the performance and conductor. And over the years, he gradually made me realize what a great joy it is to listen to classical music. So in honor of our next concert being a family-oriented concert in January, invigorating water music, let's check in with some MSO musicians and see what they have to say about their first classical music experience. So my earliest memory of classical music was probably as a four or five-year-old rambunctious tot. My uh, music major mother um, wanted to um, embrace you know, that side of me, so she would put the Nutcracker on. And my specific memory of that is uh, during the pas de deux in the second act, there's the, uh, you know, it's, it's the one with the big cello, but there's big cymbal crashes toward the end of that as the orchestra is hitting its crescendo. And she would arm me with two pots out of the, uh, you know, two pot pans out of her kitchen and I would clash them together. It's a wonder my mother didn't go deaf. My first memory of classical music was um, a Suzuki violin teacher coming to my kindergarten class and playing humoresque with a student. And I then promptly marched home and informed my mom who was uh, on bed rest with my soon-to-be little sister that I would be taking the violin from then on. And I don't think she had much choice in her. When I was in junior high school, ninth grade, my mid a junior high band director brought in the Long Island Pearl Musical to play for us. And when that orchestra started playing the overture to the third act of Lohengrin, I just, my spine started tingling. From that moment on, I couldn't get enough of listening to orchestral music. And I'm, it's changed my whole life. So thanks to Mr. Mordoff at Valley Stream Memorial Junior High School. My uh, first introduction to classical music, my father was doing a job in Alaska. This was 1956. And we came back and bought a television set, my father did, and we were living at my grandfather's. And that was when I first saw Leonard Bernstein's Young People's Concert. And I remember the piece he played, one of them was The Unanswered Question, The Trumpet and Strings, and then Ravel's Mother Goose Sweet. And that, I think, was one of the first introductions to classical music. And of course, he had these every so often, they were on CBS television. This is a big thing, a lot of people, you know, because I'm 76 years old, a lot of people in 1956 and beyond was introduced to classical music. My first experience was in grade school. I remember going to an auditorium to see a symphony perform, and I was so thrilled to be in this large space at dark, and then this wonderful music started. It was just a great experience. My first experience with classical music was Walt Disney's Fantasia, which I saw in the theaters oh, the late 50s or so. I was uh, like six or seven years old. Uh, I used to dress up my teddy bear as, uh, as a wizard and play the uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice while I marched him around.